Hey everybody and welcome to this video. This is going to be a full face of Olimar Cosmetics and I do full face in quotations because it's not a full face per se just because they don't have a full face worth of products available in their line but I do have all of the products in their line so that you guys can see their products in action so pretty much the only things that are not from Olimar Cosmetics are like the brows and the base but the eyes, lashes, lips, um, blush, contour, all of that is Olimar Cosmetics so if you guys are interested in seeing their products put to the test and seeing how they work and how they are then go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the eyes. So I do have both of the eyeshadow palettes here. They're pretty much, um, like the packaging is identical. The only thing is the Volume 2 palette does come with a mirror, so that's really nice. But aside from that, like the layout of the packaging and all of that is pretty much the same so i'll show you side by side what the two look like so they're really nice so the yellow one is the vaina del caribe um i think that's how you say it. i don't speak spanish i know i look like i should i know but i don't so so the yellow one is volume one and the blue one is volume two so i am just going to be using a mix of shadows from both of them so and i also have all of their brushes so i'll use the face brushes later on but these are both of the shadow brush collections it's really cute so you have such a variety of different brushes to use a lot of blending brushes some defining brushes a flat shaded brush you could pretty much do like a full look with these um, brushes so yeah i'm gonna start off with this fluffy blending brush they don't have a name on them so I don't know what the name is but I'm just gonna take that brush and I'm gonna take the shade Mambo from the volume 2 palette and I'm going to use this as my initial crease color And I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go into the Volume 1 palette and I'm going to take the shade Coco Taxi and I'm going to place that just a little bit underneath where we just placed that initial Mambo color. So this is going to be focused a little bit more like in the crease. All right, now I'm gonna go in with like the more like flatter, fluffier brush. I don't know how to describe this brush, but I'm gonna go in with that brush from the pink eyeshadow brush collection. And I'm gonna take Cafecito from the first palette and I'm going to place that in the outer corner. And it is pigmented, y'all. I forgot how pigmented. Her darker color like they're all pigmented but like the darker ones are super super pigmented I could just put a little bit I'm gonna go back in with the um, other eyeshadow brush and use that to kind of blend out the brown I'm just kind of switching back and forth between the two brushes Okay, I'm going to go back in with a little bit of Coco Toxy just because I feel like I might have lost a little bit. Now, what color should I do for the lid? I think I'm going to mix. So first I'm going to take Tombao from the Volume 2 palette. And I'm going to place that all over my lid or like the inner two-thirds of the lid. And I'm using the flat shader brush from the green brush collection. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of El Malacón and place that like in the inner third for like a pop. So 
so pretty. So pretty. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and put on my lashes. And I do have, um, well, I had all their lashes, but I used the Atura Vida lashes to, like, they're finished so i had to throw them away um but i do have the other three i think i'm gonna go in with salvaje today no i think i'm gonna go in with kayaita today um i'm gonna use those as my lashes i do have a video on my igtv of me trying on all their lashes so you can see all different styles on my eyes so if you're interested in that i'll leave a link down below if i can is there a link? I don't know. But if there is, I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested in that. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and place these lashes on. Again, these are the style Kayaita. And I will be back and we'll finish up the bottom lash line and the rest of the face. Alright, I'm back and this is what it looks like with the lashes on. So now let's go ahead and finish up our under eyes. And I think I want to do like a pop of green. I think I'm going to use Mojito from the volume 2 palette and I'm just going to use the little pencil brush from the pink eye brush collection I'm just going to pop this right all the way across my little last line I'm just going to take this ColourPop liner in the shade Teaspoon okay but I'm going to take La Costa or La Costa from the volume one palette and pop that in the inner corner and a little bit under the brow and I don't like it too shimmery under the brow so I like to just wipe a little bit with my finger to kind of blend it out all right so this is it for the eyes let's go ahead and move on to the face and i do have both the blush palette and then their like bronzer and brightener palette so we're going to use both of those today i'm going to start off by bronzing i do already have my base makeup done obviously you can see i have my foundation concealer powders all of that on just because they don't sell those products within the brand um i have pretty much all of the products that they do sell so i'm pretty much using um, the brand as a whole for this video so they don't have you know they're still building their collection so slowly but surely they're adding in new products so this um, Brighton and Bronze Complexion Trio I believe is their newest product um, as far as I know I'm pretty sure it was like the most recent product that they launched and they do come in three different shades so I do have mine in the medium to tan shades so first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bronzer brush so this is they also when they came out with this trio they came out with a trio of brushes for the face so they have a complexion brush a brightening brush and a bronzer brush this brush is not my favorite like i it's not my favorite for like bronzing i would definitely probably use this more for a foundation but for the sake of the video i'm just going to use it for bronzing today so i'm going to take the solterra shade which is the bronzer and I'm just going to use this to add some color to my face. For a bronzer, I like a bit of a fluffier brush. So again, I, this isn't like my favorite for bronzing. I think because it is so dense and so like nicely packed, it would be really nice for foundation. But... You know, again, you don't have to use the brushes or any of the products as they're labeled. You can totally mix and match. So now I'm going to take the complexion brush and I'm going to take the Always Summer shade. And I'm going to use that to kind of deepen and contour a little bit. I'm gonna take that like more flat, wider kind of blending brush um, from the pink eye collection and we did use it earlier so I'm just gonna kinda wipe off what's on there. And I'm gonna take the shade Solterra and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose real quick. Right. Then I'm going to go back into the Brightening and Bronze Trio and I'm going to take the shade I'm Woke, which is the brightener, and I'm going to take the brightening brush. 
I'm gonna place this right under the contour kind of clean up that area brighten up that area I like to do this a lot you can do it with your sponge as well So I just went ahead and sprayed a little bit of a setting spray real quickly just because I felt like my skin was looking a little bit dry. Um, I've just been, I think I've been using too much of this serum from, um, from Fourth Ray Beauty and it's kind of been drying out my skin a little bit. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of refresh my skin real quick, but let's go ahead and get back into the rest of the face. So now I'm going to take the Colorette Blush Trio and mine again is in the medium to tan shade. And I'm going to mix together Seclusion and Isla and use that for my cheeks. All right, and then lastly, for a little bit of a face highlight, I'm going to go back into that Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take the shade La Costa, which is what we use for our inner corner and under our brow. And I'm just going to fluff a little bit of that onto my cheeks. And I'm going to take the brightening brush for this. So you can really mix and match these products, even though it says, you know, they're supposed to be meant for one thing or another. You can play around with them. You can use the brushes for different things. You can use the eyeshadows on your face. Like, just do what you want. You know what I mean? You don't have to stick to what the label says. So, last but not least, let's go ahead and do our lips. So, I do have almost all of their lip products. I am just missing one lip gloss that came out a little bit later after their collection. So I do have both of the liners and then four of the original Desnudis lip glosses, but I am missing Mommy Spice Latte, which eventually I will get. I just haven't um, purchased it yet. So let me see which color I want to do color combo. All right, so first I'm going to start off by lining my lips with the Dulce Liner. And then I'm just going to top that off with the Coqueta Lip Gloss. Okay. Maybe even just take a little bit of the Chula Lip Gloss right in the middle. This one is very, very light. All right, so this is the final look. I really like how it turned out. Again, you know, there are a semi-limited amount of products, but it is a newer company and a smaller company so they are kind of building up their collection but I love all of the stuff that they've come out with so far and I'm sure anything that they come out with in the future I will love just as much so yeah let's go ahead and kind of do a rundown of the products really quickly so first we have both of the eyeshadow palettes these are gorgeous eyeshadow palettes I love the array of colors they have you can do so many different looks with these palettes you can do neutral looks colorful looks smokier looks you know I feel like you just have such a great mix of shades between both of these palettes that it's just wow you know what I mean like I feel like you can do so much and it's such a limited amount of shades it's really nice I love the packaging they're super slim and sleek easy to travel nice and lightweight definitely think that if you're interested in looking if you're looking at these palettes and interested in getting them I don't think that you would be disappointed the quality is there and they're just really great palettes then we have their eye brushes like you guys saw I did this entire look just using these two eye brush sets so definitely I think you have like all of your basic brushes within these two sets you have your blending brushes your packing brushes your definer brushes your pencil brush like you have pretty much something to do everything that you would need to do for an eye look and the quality is really nice I think they're so cute I love like the color that they're super colorful I love the quality of it like it feels like nice good sturdy quality I've washed these brushes many times I've had no issues with it um, you know any flaking or like hair coming out or anything like that like I think these are really nice brushes and they're gonna last you a really long time so if I had to choose one I personally probably would go with oh I have 
I have two of the green one. <laughs> I was like, wait, I have too many brushes here. Um, if I had to choose one, I personally would probably choose the green set. As you guys saw, I do have two, um, two of the green set. So I obviously really like those brushes. But I just feel like I have so many blending brushes that I don't need like two more blending brushes and a pencil brush. I would get more use out of, you know, the blending brush, shader brush, and like a more def defining brush. You can do pretty much an entire look with this set alone. But these, you know, are a good addition to kind of add on to that set. So if you are wanting to do just one, I would say go with the green set because it's kind of like your base set and then you can kind of get the pink set as well if you want to add on and have more brushes or whatever you know do you this is just my opinion <laughs> but yeah i really like the green set all right then we have the lashes again i don't have the fourth pair because i did use them um and you know pretty much used them down to their last wear but again i have that igtv IGTV video on my Instagram if you guys want to check out all the lashes and see them on the eye but yeah they're good quality lashes these lashes are so nice like literally they're just oh, so good and the packaging cutest packaging ever like I just love the packaging of this brand it's super like bright and just like super like cute you know what I mean so yeah I really like the lashes if I had to choose one pair of lashes I would go with the Kaita just because they're like from my eye shape that I feel like they work um they could work for a more dramatic look or for a more like daytime appropriate look the only reason that I have a pair of Kaitas is because I did go on and I ordered like a second pair after I got my original shipment just because I loved them so much and I should have done that for the Atura Vida lashes as well because those were like my favorite like more dramatic lashes but by the time I had like run out of that lash they were sold out of their lashes so as far as I know they don't have the lashes on the website anymore for now I did um, DM the brand on Instagram and they said that they're just kind of waiting for a restock from their um, provider what's the word their you know their connect basically I forgot like what the, <laughs> what the business term is for but basically they're waiting for a shipment of new lashes so I don't believe they are available on the website as of right now but when they do come back in stock definitely get your hands on some of these lashes they're super super nice last but not least let's go ahead or not a lot I we still got more products to talk about um, as far as the palettes for the face, I really, really like these palettes. Again, the quality is there. The packaging is so cute. I love how they all incorporate this, like, bronzy kind of metallic color throughout all of their products. Like, it's on the barrel of the brushes it's like on the splash of these products it's the color of their face brushes like I just like the cute like cohesiveness of that um but yeah these palettes are super nice good quality products pigmented easy to blend out the packaging itself is super lightweight and travel friendly if you're looking for a good quality product you're gonna get it with this there are you know obviously a ton of bronzing and brightening palettes on the market you can get some from the drugstore for a little bit cheaper so i'm not saying it's like the end all be all you have to go out and get this one if you want to kind of play around with other products from other companies that might be a little bit less money definitely do that but if you're looking for a good quality like if you know you're gonna get the quality for your money this is a good recommendation so it's not like the best one ever you know there's other alternatives but this one is a good uh, option if you're looking into it and then the blush palette I think these blushes are really nice like they're nice and pigmented they're really pretty it's not my favorite blush palette ever the quality is there the pigment is there if these are your kind of shades that you're always looking for get it like you're not gonna be disappointed personally I don't reach for it all the time I just uh, they're not like my favorite shades ever I just have other blush palettes that I tend to reach for over it but it's not like I'm disappointed that I purchased it like I, it's good to have in my collection it's just not like an everyday kind of palette that I'm reaching for 
And then last but not least, we have the lip products. So again, there are two liners. So you have a more like mid medium nude and then a deeper nude um both of these work on my skin tone the medium nude um is a little bit closer to my skin tone so it doesn't give as much definition i wish there was one like in between these two it would be like the perfect nude for me but i definitely do use these they're super creamy they're super like long wearing nice good quality like the quality of the like if you just feeling the package like just feeling this is weird do i, I feel so yeah the product itself is really good it's pigmented they're creamy they blend out very nicely it's not anything super rough where you're gonna have the pencil breaking or anything like that one thing i can say about the brand as a whole is it is a quality brand like there's no product that i've gotten that i'm like oh my gosh this is like bad it's cheap like you're paying for the quality you're getting so there's not gonna be well at least from my experience there's nothing that i think has been like less than worth what I paid for it if you know what I mean like it's not cheap products by any means like it's good quality makeup here so yeah the colors are really nice I personally just wish there was like a little bit of a like in between shade just for me personally I feel like that would be like the perfect brown for me but it's not my brand it's not my thing but um like that's the only downside but these are good colors good quality good makeup and then you have the lip glosses and these are really nice these like these have some weight to them for a lip gloss like it has some like weight for the packaging the packaging is really cute it has this like brown to like you can see the shade on the bottom all of them come in the same exact packaging this isn't my favorite lip gloss formula in the world it is a little bit on the thicker side it's not sticky by any means it's just a little bit like thicker like when you rub it on your hand you can even see like it doesn't like glide I don't know if you can see like how thick it is do you know what I mean I don't know if you can tell what I'm trying to say it's not like the thickest formula ever like it's not something that's unbearable once you put it on and you start talking I feel like it kind of warms up to your lips where it's not like uh, I can't move my lips or anything but um, if you're just not into thicker glosses I don't think that you'll be a fan of these in particular if you like the formula of the glosses I think you'll really like them the they have a bunch of different like nude shades so some for kind of every skin tone every preference and then they have like the mommy spice latte which is more of like a peachy nude so I'm really like I really need to get that I just keep forgetting but yeah so I feel like I've been sitting here talking to you guys for way too long this video is probably super long by this point so I'm gonna go overall as a whole I think that this brand is a great brand it's quality products it is a little bit more on the pricier side it's not like the most expensive brand ever but um you know you are paying for the quality that you're getting yeah it is a smaller company it is like a newer company the products that you're paying for you're getting the quality that you're paying for the shipping is super fast i don't know if it's just because i live on the east coast so like it's coming from miami to virginia it's like super quick but i get it like within like if i order it on monday i would have it for sure within the next like two or three days so super quick shipping and yeah overall i love this brand and i think that you guys if you've been interested in it or kind of like having your eye out for it check it out you won't be disappointed so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it definitely make sure to like this video i just said that give it a thumbs up if you like this video definitely make sure to subscribe for more content from me i have more stuff coming i promise i promise you guys and yeah thank you guys i've gotten so many oh yeah i reached 500 subscribers i'm so excited i haven't i'm like why are people still subscribing to me i haven't uploaded a video in like a month but for those of you that have been subscribing to me thank you guys so much i really appreciate the love and i will have more and more content coming soon i've just been in this weird funk but we're getting out of it okay so thank you guys so much for all the new and old subscribers i love y'all thank you i love that you guys are rocking with me in my content like yes okay but yeah thank you guys so much i hope you're having a fantastic day and i will see you in my next video
Bye.